How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy. I'm back with another video. And for this video, this comes from one of my subscribers. He sent me a comment on Snapchat. And so I'm going to do this uh, video for him. And I'm going to read you the comment that he sent me. I'm not going to put his name out there because I don't know if he wants me to do that. But this is like the third time I've made this video. I was supposed to release this video last week, but I've been having technical difficulties with my external microphone for some reason the sound hasn't been going through so if you can't really hear this video that well um, I'm sorry I don't know what to do I'm not very technical savvy when it comes to these cameras but let's get to his comment and we'll see if I can help him so he says I'm trying to cut to where I can see my six pack again. I had major surgery over the summer and I was in the ER six times. I got blood clots in my leg deep and then it went to my lung. Luckily, because I eat healthy, it cleared totally in 20 days. However, being out of action for almost five months now, I've gained a little bit of fat to where my cuts are slowly fading and I'm trying to get cut enough to where I can see my six pack again. And I personally don't count my calories. I eat portion size method. So I'm trying to cut without counting calories. And I saw your past videos, um, but how you say to focus on the micronutrients and you can get to your goal weight and physique. Like I always say, I always focus on the micronutrients. I don't really count calories or anything like that. Um, however, I was... However, I always drop a little bit in the first week and then the progress stops. I'm trying to get cut again to where I can see my abs and then also sustain it instead of using some low carb temporary diet. I'm very consistent with the way I eat and I have great discipline, I must say. I used to do cheat days, but now I only do one to two, usually two cheat meals a week. Um, and he pretty well, he pretty much just wants me to go over what I eat throughout the day. And I'm very consistent with what I eat. I kind of eat the same foods every day. And this is what I've been doing. And I'm not recommending this to everybody. This is just what works for me. As you as you'll see in the next videos of what I eat throughout the day, I eat very little protein. And probably like 40 grams or less, but like I said, it's been working out for me. Um, I don't know. Just give y'all an example for the critics out there. But as you can see, the proof is in the pudding. Still have muscle mass. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video and maybe y'all can see how I kind of eat throughout the day. And also, I've been skipping breakfast. And that's been helping me stay lean as well. I've been experimenting with fasting. I always kind of switch it up a little bit to see what works. And this way I'm eating right now has been working for me. So just stay tuned and you'll see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Prepping for lunch. And so I have right here, all this stuff I got from Trader Joe's. So I got this crispy, crunchy blend of vegetables. It has whatever that word is, um, whatever that vegetable, I don't know what that is. Red cabbage, kale, and golden beets. Got some broccoli, got some roasted corn, and I got some roasted peppers and onions. All right, so here's the final product. So I got the kale and the cabbage, that first package. I got that at the bottom. And then on top of that, I got the broccoli. I got the, uh, the peppers and onions, and I got the corn right here. And then I got some uh, raw carrots. And this is my lunch right here. And I usually, uh, when I'm at work, I'll probably go to the store and buy like an apple or I'll buy like a small bag of pistachios. And that's that's my lunch. And I also, I, I haven't been eating breakfast. I've kind of been fasting and it's been working for me. I'm not really that hungry in the morning. Um, I usually, I used to eat breakfast a lot, but I was kind of just like forcing myself to eat breakfast. And so just fasting, I found that it works for me. And... As you can see, this is not a lot of calories. It does have a lot of nutrients, a lot of vegetables. So that's why I focus on macronutrients 
Um, it's not that really high in fiber, but it does have some fiber. And as you can see, this is very low in protein. So that is, this will be the first meal of today, and I'll probably eat it around 11 o'clock. Um, I just went to the gas station and bought me a pack of these pistachios. I think these are 150 calories. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna snack on these and that'll be it until I get home and after my workout. And I'm just getting home from the gym. And so this is what I'm gonna eat. For right now, it's like six o'clock at night. And so I got three jazz apples, two oranges, and a sweet potato. It'll be the last meal of the day. At the bottom, I got the, the kale and uh, then cabbage, whatever the, that mixture of greens was. I got broccoli. I got the frozen roasted uh, bell peppers and onions. And I have black beans. I'm going to throw it in the microwave and that's going to be it.